Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert, and this is my little golden son. He's very old, he's very fragile, 16 in fact, and he's been feeling a little bit lonely lately, as have I. So, my little golden son has a new little really careful about what kind of dog I bring into this house because like I said very old very fragile so I needed something smart something trainable something that is respectful of elders doesn't need to be respectful towards me I can train it but it needs to be respectful towards Frank they say that puppies can reinvigorate an old soul and that's exactly what this guy has done with Danky can't you see yeah, can't you can't can't you tell? Bear with me because Danky is really tired and the puppy is also very tired. They got worn like they got wiped out. It's nighttime right now. This right here is Anjing. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, and then look at his little puppy blue eyes. He's a black German Shepherd. Black is actually recessive in German Shepherds, so less than seven percent of them are full black. So this is a rare. Rare pupper. He's got really, really big bones. He's going to be 90 pounds and he is tired. <laughs> Good boy. He's so tired. Trust me, he's like very chill and gentle. I mean, he's always gentle with Twinkie, but he is not chill and gentle all the time. Oh, sorry. He doesn't usually come on the couch. You want to go on the ground? You want to show them some tricks? Oh, hey. Don't bite that out. He's good. I literally picked the worst sweater to wear because it, it looks like I'm about to do some shutsund with him. I've always wanted a really high drive dog because I want it to work out with me. I want it to work with me. Um, I've always dreamed about having this kind of dog. I have like a whole training plan for him, but I'm gonna show you what we can do so far. Okay, I need to stop talking like that. Nobody likes it. Angie, come here. Sit. Okay, the eye contact is amazing. Down, down, good boy. I've had him for a week. I didn't want to film him like too much right away uh, cause he had a lot to take in, but he knew come sit and his name within a day. His name is Anjing. Anjing is the Malay word for dog. So I know really, oh. Oops, it is. Yeah, so Anjing is the Malay word for dog. Kind of lame, but it was my first dog's name who was also black. It is the Mandarin word for quiet, which I didn't know. My friend who speaks Mandarin told me. And it is the Indonesian word for... It's It's actually an insult. I, I didn't know that either. Um, do you want to press your button? Okay, one sec. I'm going to grab him his button. Push the button. Oh, he's doing it too gently. Usually he whacks it, but he's really tired. Press the button. <laughs> <laughs> Push the button. Push a button. There you go. Aren't you the smartest, coolest, most awesomest, cutest, lovely, gorgeous? Sleepiest also. His floppy ear will be fixed. <laughs> fixed. <laughs> it will It'll stick stand up, up straight, yeah, in maybe a few weeks. Let's play a little game called Which One is a Dog? Okay, this is obviously a dog. This is obviously a snoot of a dog. This is obviously the dog sleeping in a way that worries me about his hips. This, <laughs> when we were waiting for the dog to come back from his vet checkup, like we were like seeing the dog and things and we thought this like bag of trash was Anjing. Look at his little blue eyes. Oh my goodness, the puppy blues. They're probably gonna turn like dark brown, but it's real cute right now. Okay, look at this eye contact. Eye contact is a very good sign of obedience in a very young puppy. And this is like a seven week old, just like looking Terry in the eyes, like so affectionately. And he's been really good with eye contact, which makes me very happy. It's hard for anybody who talks to me, like especially Azzy. She's like, oh, thank you for showing me the dog pics. And I'm like, well, I hope you made it because here's 5,000 more. I just got this sweater in the mail and this dog is... He's been pretty good at oust, like letting stuff out of his mouth, but like sometimes he does a little damage before you can get it completely out. Asking the dogs at my work random questions. That is such a good idea. Do you go by Bob or Bob? Oh, that dog's eye contact's really good. Oh, yep. Friendly. Okay, thank you. Caesar, are you a vicious pit bull? Oh, perfect answer. I love pit bulls. 
cool so much. Mufasa, is Lion King your favorite movie? It's so cute how they're like very gently checking if it's food or not. <laughs> Angie, come here. Oh, oh, oh God, that's not good. I can't turn this thing off. <laughs> no, don't bite me. Anjing, how are you enjoying your first few days in the Chateau Gloom? It's free real estate. Oh, excellent. Have you made any new friends? Awesome. What do you think about being a dog? All right. Well, there he goes. You know what they say, easy come, easy go. When you accidentally got fed twice for one meal because mom and dad didn't communicate. <laughs> It's very important that we keep uh, this dog like in an athletic shape. <laughs> so we've had to communicate about everything. Like I would not have been able to do this without Terry for sure. Sometimes I doubt myself and this dog really needs like a leader. And I feel like this dog is gonna help me a lot with my confidence, but as a puppy, it needs someone who's confident all the time. And that's Terry, but I'm working on it too. Oh, it's a working dog on the farm. Getting accustomized to the cows and all the different animals. Oh, he's so friendly. He's so friendly, he's so gentle. Those poor cows, oh, he's cheap. <gasps> it's so cute when animals of different species play games with each other. I love it so much. That's a good boy. Hey, this is a pear. I don't know if you're gonna like it, but... Oh, here. <laughs> he doesn't even know how to grab it. How does he go so hard for meat, but with bear, he's like, Ugh. You wanna see meat his favorite thing in the world? This is what we call it, the crack bone. Yeah. You're a good boy. Oh, that, yep, <laughs> there he goes, he loves it. He loves it so much we haven't given it to him since the first day because he just spazzed out. Puppy noticed himself in the mirror today. Anjing really likes to look in the mirror and also really likes to watch TV. Like I've never had a dog that really enjoys watching TV, but this guy, especially when we're watching like dogs doing agility and stuff, like Anjing is all over it. I mean, that's a golden retriever, right? Like he's gonna be, you can tell he's gonna be so good. One of my favorite candidates to introduce Anjing to is golden retrievers because they have such good personalities and like such soft temperament it's really important that all of the dogs that angie meets right now like all the experiences are positive and um golden retrievers are just such a good way to get a positive experience right now things finn does to his sister that don't make sense oh oh i'd get kind of i'd be like no no okay yeah no if angie did this to twinkie i'd say no 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 <laughs> but i guess we'll see the guard dog i was hoping for yes what i got instead oh he's scared of ladders i don't think i'm gonna be able to find anything in my house or in this world that this dog is scared of puppy's reaction to cucumbers Uh, maybe I'll show him the blow dryer for the first time. This is a blow dryer. I don't want to scare him. You okay? Look. Would you blow dry him? See what he. No, I don't want to scare him. Hmm? Maybe if he's not looking at it. He's looking to me. You looking protection. to Terry for safety? It's okay. Good boy. A little bit skeptical, but not afraid. <sighs> oh, wait, if you do that, it makes his tilt. <laughs> oh, how cute. I want to do it with you. Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. Here, one sec. Let me. Okay, this is mine. I'll give you yours. <sighs> You're heavy. Jeez. Hey. Uh uh. <coughs> hey. 
actually, this isn't a good reward for a sit. I'll just do it. <laughs> How just, do we look? You look great. He just laid down. Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> good boy. Hi. You made it out. Zoom. I mean, that's really, really cute. I can put him on his back while he mouths at my hand. You don't want to bite me. You don't want to bite me. Ah, he's vicious. He's lethal. He's lethal. Hey, gentle, gentle, gentle. Hey, <laughs> gentle, gentle. Don't bite my hand. Okay, here, just take it. Oh, <laughs> ah, ah. oh my gosh, it's like so gentle. He's learning. But he's just a baby right now, so we gotta be careful. We're, we're, we can't reprimand him right now, so... We gotta be cool. Yeah. But he's an alligator! You're an alligator! You're an eight. Oh my gosh, it, it's literally like getting like... So the caption of this is, I love the pandemic mama's home all the time. And it like kind of makes me sad because actually a lot of dogs have been selling so much because of the pandemic, but like everyone's going back to work now. So hopefully nobody got dogs with too high of drive. So we're actually thinking about moving and getting a place with more carpet because of this. I just don't want this to happen. Let's go. Come on. Come, 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 come. <laughs> I just don't want him to slide into anything. I don't want him to hurt himself. Oh my goodness, I want a water dog so bad. Oh. The other day we did a thing where I was like attacking Terry or like pretending to, but like in a not scary way because we don't want to traumatize the puppy. I was just like, arr, 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 and the puppy uh, got really excited and like jumped in and jumped on Terry's face, but then started licking him. So that's nice. Whoa, this guy's an absolute unit. 12 months young? Oh my goodness. So Anjing was 20 pounds when we got him at seven weeks, so he's gonna be like a unit, but this guy is like a unit's unit. I feel like ours is gonna be pretty big though. Oh, kennel training, going good so far. Oh no. Oh no, I wouldn't let him freak out like that. So you have to teach him to go in there in a way that makes him happy. Ooh, that sucks. Anjing, come in here. Go in. I don't want to close the door yet because it's not sleeping time, but you get the picture. We feed him his food in there and give him his water in there so that he feels like it's a nice hangout. The first night he did not like it in here because it was his first night ever away from his litter. So he was really lonely and I thought that like it was going to be like that for weeks, but by like what night? Four he slept through. Yeah, I did that earlier. He fell asleep in my arms. These guys don't view work the way that like we humans do. Like this guy is going to need to have a job to be happy. So like, we're um, thinking Starbucks, or <laughs> yeah, no. McDonald's maybe. <laughs> He's asleep. Okay, I'll we can tuck him in. Oh, they're singing to it. I can try to sing my dog to sleep. Can I sing you to sleep? Rock by baby. In the <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> rock a -bye, baby in the treetop when the wind blows. Okay, what are you doing? He's <laughs> antisocial. When the bow breaks the crew. Oh, maybe I should go lower. He doesn't really like high frequencies. He's like, oh, oh, oh. He hates that. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I probably have to wait till he gets a little more tired to sing him to sleep. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. I finally feel like my family is complete. I have the two dogs that I've always wanted. The new one is definitely going to completely change my life. Twinkie has been very easy, very affectionate, um, but I kind of wanted something that isn't easy. I've been enjoying waking up at 7.30 every single morning. I've, I've just been like, I've been enjoying everything about it and it's because I love the dog so much. And same with Terry, he was like pretty anxious at first and now he's like, Anjing's like number one fan. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'm in my Discord a lot. I'll probably answer them there and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.